ओके गाइस इट्स मी इमाद फ्रॉम नेल्सन डार्विन पार्क टेक यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न हाउ टू मेक ए सिंपल वोल्टेज एम्पलीफायर विद द हेल्प ऑफ ए ट्रांजिस्टर दैट इज ए सिंपल एनपीएन ट्रांजिस्टर फॉर इट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल सेलेक्ट अवर सुटेबल ट्रांजिस्टर and here we need to write 2n3904 which is a very common npn transistor in all groups okay wait so we can go for like a transistors and here if we write 3904 or 2n we can select it out so here it is so uh, 2n25 2n37 and 2n3904 this is a very simple and small npn transistor after this transistor we need four resistors that is the quarter watt resistors so we will go to basic components and we will take our resistor you can select any of the resistor and then like a place four resistors by clicking on okay okay now right click on this resistor and flip it clockwise 90 degree and also with this resistor or do it with all the four resistors yeah this and this one resistor must be connected with the collector of this 2n3904 other in just place in parallel with this resistor the third one with the emitter of the transistor and the fourth one place just place it in parallel with this resistor join the upper and lower end of these resistors now change its value to 4.7k this resistor is called as the rc resistance which is connected with the collector of the transistor and change it to 1k or 1.1k this one is called as re and it must be equal to 470 ohm now connect this resistor and this resistor also click on this resistor and change its value to 1k okay now we we have placed all the four resistors now we need to take one elect two electrolytic capacitors so we will go in basic and we will take our electrolytic capacitor so we will use these capacitors one at the input and one at the output flipped horizontally and this one as it is why we are using these capacitors is the fact that these two will access the filter mean that they will allow the ac signal to come in but also like uh, dc components like they they will act like the high pass filter they will neglect a bit of noise because because noise can be of uh, low frequency it is like the hum or having some sort of dc component in it so that's why we need to filter it out after it we need to take our ac voltage source as a signal okay as a signal on the input because we don't uh, have sound signal so we will just put the ac signal here simple ac signal 1 volt peak to peak what about its frequency we don't need 100 hertz we can just confine it to the 100 hertz and the last we need our ground to be connected below the circuit like this okay now our circuit is nearly completed except with the vcc 
which must be of 12 volt and we will change its value to 12 volt now we also need one oscilloscope and the negative end of the oscilloscope with the with the lower end of this amplifier now we need to run it okay wait uh, we can see that we have okay we have to adjust the value of this r3 which is the part of voltage divided by s so it must be 4.7 k and hopefully our circuit will will be fine now okay now they are saying 5 volt per division and okay right we can increase the 1 volt peak to peak to 2 volt peak to peak or, or 3 volt okay then now you can see that now we can see that we are having okay yeah it is squeezing with the best of time our voltage is squeezing on the output okay so we can also change it to like a 1.1k now we will run it out okay now now you can see that we are getting around about 8 volts on the output yeah because one box consists of 5 volt and two boxes will consist of like we can say 10 volt so it is 1.6 uh, or 7 boxes so our voltage is a bit amplified hopefully you got the concept regarding how to make a voltage amplifier with the help of a transistor within the multisim so thanks for visiting our channel